tonight is a very, very uh, bittersweet evening every time we gather. There is not nearly enough time in the world for me to express how I feel about my father. This is always a very emotional day for, for my family. Our hearts are heavy about what happened. The double murders of our uh, beloved Harvey Milk and our treasured mayor, George Moscone. Two extraordinary human beings who graced us with their presence as elected officials of this city. This is a memorial of remembering a time that should be honored, and I want to send my love to those of you from the families who are here. It's been very moving to be here with you. The deep hole in many of our hearts has never been refilled because of George's death. There was nobody who loved the city as much as George Moscow. My father's life ended in a minute, perhaps even less. What George saw in this city and its people cannot be contained in a minute, for he saw infinite possibilities. If Harvey and George needed to be taken from the world, which was a horrible tragedy. In a way, I had some small comfort that they left the world together. Harvey's legacy is the movement to open the closet doors for every gay, lesbian, transgender, and transsexual person in the United States and the world. God, how we love this man, and how he loved us. The contribution that I, I remembered the most was being an openly gay teacher at that time. His, his message was hope, and his example was courage. The idea of educating people about what Tim Mill contributed as, as a gay man uh, you know, cannot be undervalued. and deny our existence and will our death are fearful people whose narrow-minded inability to accept the truth about what it means to be a human being disqualifies them from the joy and the power of accepting who you are and standing up against those who deny what your life is all about. Harvey Milk always took the issue of gay rights and connected it to other people who were disenfranchised, whether they be African American or Latino or Native American or disabled or Asian or working class. He knew how to make those threads connect. That these two individuals literally have shaped the nature of politics and public policy in this city. Can you not now see how going forward in the future, if the two had lived, this city, this state, and this nation would have been a far more interesting place? And so along with the sadness and the grief and the missing, comes the excitement that we as human beings have this potential to change the world again and again and again. Uh, Harvey Milk, I think, would be very uh, being used today uh, to see where history uh, not only has placed him, uh, uh, but us. And how proud he would be of all those who have in his name gone forward to fight for social justice, for queer empowerment, and for a better future for all of us. He said, my hope is to leave a world that allows my two nephews and all the generations that follow them to be a place that embraces our differences, not with hate, but with love. 
messengers, but you can't kill the message. And I think looking at you today, you know what I'm talking about. And it is all of you literally keeping the flame alive tonight. And I want to thank each and every one of you for the support and love you've given to that organization, for the incredible work they've done to bring equal rights to gays and lesbians across the state of California for year after year after year, and that work is going to continue. We need your love and support to keep that going. Stand with us. This country as the story is told and retold and people from all parts of the country and around the world will soon be talking about Harvey's message which was international and timeless in its scope because it was a story of liberation not unlike the story of Moses not unlike the story of Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King and Cesar Chavez and Mahatma Gandhi. It's a human tale which touches every human heart, that everyone and anyone should be able to live with simple human dignity, respect, and validation of their lives. But I, I think that one of the things that you can see in the movie is that how Harvey had to fight for the No on Six campaign to be true to who we are and for us not to be invisible. And with the greatest of love for the people who led that effort, and yes, we came close, and I'm hopeful that the courts will rule in our favor, but I think going forward we have to have any campaign speaking to the diverse state of California to be a diverse campaign, and I think that we have to continue to speak up and about who we are. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. 